God's chosen people, the Israelites, were being held in brutal bondage and forced slavery under the Egyptian king, Pharaoh. God saw their pain and suffering and sent Moses and his brother Aaron to lead his people out of Egypt to a wonderful and good land. Moses and Aaron went before Pharaoh and told him, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh's heart was hard and he would not allow them to go. God knew Pharaoh's heart was stubborn and hard, so he began to send plagues on the people of Egypt. This was the only way the king of Egypt and his people would acknowledge that God was the one true and mighty God. The first five plagues were the plague of blood, the plague of frogs, the plague of gnats, the plague of flies, and the plague on livestock. Each time, Moses warned Pharaoh of the plague that he would bring upon the land of Egypt. And each time, even though there was much damage and destruction to Pharaoh and the people of Egypt, the king would harden his heart and refuse to let the Israelites go. But God was not finished with the king of Egypt and his people. Moses continued to listen to God and obey his commands. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of soot from a furnace, and in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials, toss it into the air. It will be as fine dust, and it will settle on men, and festering boils will break out all over their bodies. The next day, Moses and Aaron did as the Lord commanded, and terrible festering boils broke out all over the bodies of the men. Still Pharaoh hardened his heart, and would not let the Israelites go. Then the Lord told Moses, Get up early in the morning and go to Pharaoh and say, This is what the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, says. Let my people go, so that they may worship me, or this time I will send the full force of my plagues against you and all your people, so that you will know there is no one like me in all the earth. By now, I could have struck you with a plague that would have wiped you and your people off the earth. For this reason, I have let you live, in order to show you my power and to proclaim my name over all the earth. But you still have hardened your heart and refused to let my people go. Therefore, tomorrow, I will send the worst hailstorm that Egypt has ever seen. The next day, God commanded Moses to stretch out his staff toward the sky. The Lord sent thunder and hail, and lightning flashed down to the ground. Throughout Egypt, hail struck everything growing in the fields and stripped every tree standing. The only thing that wasn't ruined was the wheat and spelt because they had not ripened yet. But the land of Goshen, where the Israelites lived, was not touched. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, This time I have sinned. The Lord is righteous, and I and my people are the wicked ones. Please call upon the Lord to stop the thunder and hail, and I will let you go. So Moses left and went before God. Immediately the thunder stopped, and the rain and hail quit pouring down on Egypt. When Pharaoh saw this, he once again sinned and refused to let the Israelites go. This time the Lord said to Moses, I have hardened the hearts of Pharaoh and his officials so that I may perform these miraculous signs. And you can tell your children and grandchildren how I brought all these devastating plagues upon the Egyptians. And you will know that I am the Lord. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said, This is what the Lord, the God of the Hebrews says, how long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? If you refuse to let my people go, I will send locusts into your country tomorrow. They will be so thick, you will not even be able to see the ground. They will devour what little you have left in the fields. They will fill your houses, covering everything you own. When Moses left Pharaoh, all of Pharaoh's officials said to him, 
How long will you let this man do this to us? We beg you to let his people go. Don't you realize that Egypt is ruined? In response, Pharaoh went to Moses and said, Go, take your people and worship the Lord your God. But when Moses told Pharaoh that all the Israelites would be leaving, he became very angry. He cried, You are planning evil against me. You may go, but you can only take your men. So Moses and Aaron left Pharaoh. God then told Moses to stretch out his staff over the land, and the Lord caused an east wind to blow over the land of Egypt from morning to night. With the wind came the locusts. They came in such great numbers that the ground turned black. They ate everything in the fields that was left from the hail. Nothing green remained on the ground or the trees in all of Egypt. Then Pharaoh very quickly summoned Moses and Aaron and pleaded, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now forgive my sin once more. Pray to the Lord your God to take this deadly plague away from me. As soon as Moses prayed to God, he changed the direction of the wind to a very strong west wind, which picked up the locusts and carried them off to the Red Sea. Not one locust could be found anywhere in Egypt. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he refused to let the Israelites go. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand to the sky, so that darkness will cover the land of Egypt for three days. It was so dark that no one could see anyone else, and they did not leave their homes. But all the Israelites had light in the places where they lived. Pharaoh summoned Moses and cried, Go, worship the Lord. Even your women and children may go, but leave your flocks and herds behind. But Moses demanded, You must allow our livestock to go with us. Not a hoof must be left behind, for we will need some of them to worship the Lord our God. Now Pharaoh became very angry and shouted at Moses, Get out of my sight! Do not ever appear before me again! The day you see my face, you will die. It will be just as you say, Moses replied. I will never appear before you again. Now the Lord came to Moses and said, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and Egypt. This time he will let you go and drive you out of Egypt completely. By now, Moses was greatly respected by the people of Egypt. So Moses instructed all the Israelites to go to their Egyptian neighbors and ask for silver and gold to take with them on their way out of Egypt. Finally, Moses spoke before Pharaoh. This is what the Lord says. At midnight, I will go throughout the land of Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die, from the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the slave girl that sits behind the millstone. Even the firstborn of the cattle will die. There will be a great cry in all the land of Egypt that has never been heard before and will never be heard again. But not one child or animal of the sons of Israel will be hurt. And by this, you will know how the Lord distinguishes between the people of Israel and the Egyptians. Then all your officials and servants will bow down before me and beg me to leave and take all my people with me. After that, Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. Then God spoke to Moses and Aaron, Go before all the people of Israel and give them these instructions to prepare them to leave Egypt. Each family is to select a lamb without blemish from among their herds. At twilight, they are to kill the lamb, take the blood, and wipe it on the sides and tops of the door frames of all the houses of the Israelites. Every family is to roast and eat the meat with their clothes and shoes on. When midnight comes, I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down all the firstborn of both man and animals. 
I will execute judgment on them all, for I am the Lord. When I see the blood on your doorposts of your houses, I will pass over you, and no plague will destroy your firstborn when I strike the land of Egypt. At midnight on the appointed day, the Lord came and passed through Egypt. All the firstborn sons in Egypt were struck down. The wailing and cries were heard in every house throughout the night. Even the firstborn of their livestock died that night. But the Lord passed over the houses of the sons of Israel and spared their lives. Pharaoh urgently summoned Moses and Aaron during the night and pleaded, Get up and leave from among my people and go worship the Lord as you want. Take your herds and flocks and go. The Egyptian people were so anxious to see the Israelites leave, they gave them gold, silver, and clothing as they prepared to leave on their journey to worship God. At last, Moses, Aaron, and all the Israelite people were released by Pharaoh to leave the land of Egypt. From that day forward, every year in the same month, the Israelites observed the Feast of Passover, which was a time to remember when God passed over their houses and spared their firstborn children because of the blood on their doorposts.